who are some of the guys that you were close to growing up that kind of were a big influence on you? Uh, really, I have to say, growing up, I looked up to Brad. Uh, you know, he was a senior here when I was in seventh grade, and even before that, you know, he took me under his wing and just kind of showed me the way. And he was a great uh, role model to look up to. Uh, everything he's doing, you know, I envision myself doing one day, and he always believed in me, and, and uh, he's just somebody that I always looked up to. Okay, and why would you say that St. Louis is a successful place for basketball players to really grow up and come from? You see, you know, Brad Beal, David Lee, all these guys in here, and then you, and you have Cartier and different people coming up right now. Why, what makes St. Louis different since it's really a small city? Uh, we've always had a lot of talent, you know, uh, as much talent as any other city or state, you know, I feel like it's just, you know, sometimes we don't get the recognition because maybe we're small compared to these other big cities, but, you know, people that come here, they, they see and realize that how much talent that we have. Okay, and so just moving on to your career at Duke, I'm sure you enjoyed that very much, and, you know, a lot of people are intrigued with Coach K and the program ran there, don't know too much about it on the insides. What was it like playing there and playing under him? What does he mean to you? Uh, he means everything, you know, he's the greatest coach of all time, especially, you know, in my eyes. And he did so much for me, you know, my short time there, just, you know, just being coached by, you know, someone like him that has the accolades and, you know, the things that he's done throughout his career was just, you know, I was fortunate enough and along with other guys in that locker room. Okay. And so obviously you guys were knocked out of the tournament. How did, how did the team take that hit? Uh, that was tough. Uh, it was a long year. We had a lot of ups and downs, injuries. You know, we had aspirations of winning it all from day one. And the season didn't go as planned. Uh, but, you know, we made a, a late run uh, late in the season. You know, we won 10 out of 12 games or something like that, AC tournament. But then, uh, you know, we got to the NCAA tournament. We lost second round. And everybody was disappointed, uh, as, as we should have been. You know, we felt like we were the best team. but. You know, I mean, we gave it all we had, and, you know, sometimes you come up short. Okay, and you got to declare for the NBA draft a little over a week ago. How has that felt for you? Are you super excited? Does it seem surreal? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a dream come true. You know, ever since I started playing basketball when I was three, I always wanted to be in the NBA. And it's been a long journey, long process, and now that I'm less than 80 days from reaching my dream, is uh, it's amazing. And so what was your, you know, your thoughts when you wanted to declare for that? What thoughts really persuade you to do that right now? Uh, lifelong dream. Um, you know, it was, uh, I talked to the coaching staff uh, during the year, uh, even before I was recruited. You know, we had a plan that I would have, I would be there one year, it'd be a great year. And, you know, after that, I'd pursue my dream. And, you know, we had the understanding and, you know, Coach K and the coaching staff was uh, supportive, my friends and family. You know, just everybody has helped me this entire way was supportive and I uh, felt like it was the right decision. Okay, and a lot of people of significance in the basketball world are like, oh, you know, Jason Tatum could go first overall in this draft. You know, what does that mean to you? What do you, what do you think when you hear that statement? Uh, I mean, it feels good to hear your name uh, or people with credibility say that you could go number one. But, you know, it was times during the year where people said I would go number 10. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of people around me that, you know, were there do the good and the bad you know don't get too high don't get too low and uh, just surround yourself with people that's been there the entire way and uh, just keep working okay and so going into the NBA what's something that you could bring to a team that maybe they don't have or isn't as president as president in the NBA right now that just makes you unique uh, personally uh, I feel like scoring uh, that's something I've been doing pr uh, pretty well you know my entire career and uh, just being versatile and uh, just bringing the all overall game to whatever team that I'm fortunate enough to play for. Okay, and obviously you're doing a lot with Drew here. Uh, training, I see you're already to two days and it, you know, you're already just a few months out, but I, you know, how do you prepare for that? It's obviously a long journey. So like, what are the steps that you take now that you'll kind of progress over time with? Uh, well, Drew's helped me out so much. Uh, you know, to get where I am today since I was a freshman in high school. And he's been preparing me for this, you know, since we first started working. And uh, he always told me I'd be the number one pick even when I didn't believe in myself. So now that the time is here, you know, he's just pushing me, you know, that much harder because how much he believes in me. And, uh, you know, I trust him. Okay, and if you had to describe your style of play in like one word, what would it be?
buckets. <laughs> buckets. <laughs> and why? Uh, I just feel like I'm a natural scorer, and you know uh, I can score from all three levels. You know, from the post, the mid post, you know, transition. Just uh, something I've uh, I've always worked on, and Drew's helped me out so much with that. Just polishing up my game and just being able to score from everywhere on the floor to uh, make sure that much more of a threat on the floor. Okay, and if there's like one guy in the NBA right now that you kind of look to and you're like, I like his game, you know, I, I would like to compare myself to him someday, what, who would that be? Uh, Paul George. Uh, he's probably my favorite player, him and Kevin Durant. But uh, some about Paul George's game that just, you know, I, I really love. Okay, and then last question, what advice would you give to anyone, you know, that wants to, you know, maybe be from a small town or a different area or uh, even a smaller city than St. Louis wants to come up and make it an NBA? What, would you, what advice would you give them? Uh, that it's not impossible. You know, anybody can do it. It's just, you know, how bad did you, do you want it? You know, you have to sacrifice a lot of things, you know, to reach your ultimate goal. And it, it won't always be easy. And it's a long journey. And uh, I'm just starting it. So, uh, you know, just got to always work hard and be willing, you know, to uh, do whatever it takes, you know, to reach your goal.